poppin'. My name is Richie, and today I'm going to show you guys three things which got so much easier with the new update. Um, obviously, I already recorded a video about what is new in the update, uh, so you can check that out. But since then, the creative servers were down, and I couldn't really record a video because it was annoying as hell to you know get into creative. But we're now back, and I had a lot of time to figure out some cool stuff which I can show you today. So we have some zombie stuff, we have some uh, item granting stuff, and we have the easiest point system in the world now. It is so much easier and uh, less granted. All right, so starting in first, we have the zombies. Uh, and if you didn't know by now, zombies cannot walk properly through doors and they can even open them, which is amazing. So if I gonna quickly start the game right here. So if we go up here, you can see I spawned a zombie in here and the zombie tries to even though I'm staying on this side, always walk through the door. Um, the door is also closed because of a lock device, so if you quickly open it, you can see that he actually opens it and goes through, which is amazing. You can do so much cool stuff with that, and even if you like go in here and I close the door, he still comes in, which is amazing, I think. So you might ask, what is this helpful for? What can we do with this? So I have two devices which are very useful in this situation. Um, or technically three. So first of all, the lock device is very cool to kind of um, zone in the zombies into a particular zone and then say, yeah, I now want the zombie to walk out and then you can use whatever, like a button or something to open the lock device and all you have to do is obviously just put um, a button to unlock here and make sure it's closed before. And then if you press the button, the door opens and the zombie can open it by itself. But two other things which are very important for this is uh, the objective device and the RNG device. So let's start out with the RNG device because zombies actually interact with the RNG device. So if we place it here, um, you can see that if I walk on top here, you can see that it's basically rolling a number. So how the RNG device works, right? But the zombie can also do that. So if we start the game and if we open the door, you can see that as soon as the zombie walks on top of here, you can actually roll um, the RNG device, which is amazing. So you can basically save triggers or have some very cool mechanics. Uh, obviously that is completely your choice what you're doing with this, but it's very good to know that the zombies can uh, walk properly on the RNG device. And now with the door opening and with the actually properly walking through that door, you can obviously make zombies walk directly on here and don't have to like use some kind of weird glitches and some weird ramps or whatever. It is so much easier now, so uh, that is amazing. So one other thing which is also very important, you can see that I have an um, objective device here. Um, if you don't know, I still get this question quite a bit. This device can be found in the um, objective device gallery here. So if you spawn that, you can see it's right in here. So uh, for mobile players, you cannot see this. So um, sadly, you can also use the other device, but uh, I like this one because it looks clean. Um, but if you place the objective device in front of that door, um, the zombie will kind of not focus the door. So it will basically just ignore the door and will try to get out of that box. You can see that before the zombie always tried to walk through the door, but now it tries to basically just get out, right? So it tries to get out of this uh, wall here, even though the door is right there and it could technically just focus the door. And the reason why they're not doing that is because zombies cannot uh, walk through or attack objective devices. So if we, for example, uh, pull this objective device a little bit further ahead so the door can still open, um, you can see that the zombie will not touch the objective device at all. So if we open the door now, you can see the zombie can open the door, but he doesn't try to get the objective device at all. He tries to get to the, to the barrier here or whatnot, uh, but he never touches the objective device. So that can also be used for a lot of things. Um, it doesn't really have something to do with the door, so you can place it in front of the door and block that in that case. Uh, but it's obviously very good. Okay, moving on to the next one is granting inventories and items with the new uh, conditional button. Um, so, not really a new conditional button, but there's a new option in the conditional button which uh, is called um, activate when receiving from. What that will basically do is a wireless uh, connector. So, we can show this quickly. So you can see that the main item in this um, in this conditional button is um, the uh, pistol here. So you can usually, back in the days, you could only do it with this, right? You can interact with that and then it was granted, right? So now we have the um, item collected in here and then you can do whatever your channel or whatnot. What you can also do now is use it via a trigger device. So you can see here, if I step on this trigger right here, which is connected to that, the um, pistol disappears and it also gets put into the um, 
conditional button here. So what could we use this for? You can basically re-roll uh, inventories with this uh, without having people to kind of touch or interact with the conditional button. So what I set up here is an item grinder. So if we look in here, the only thing I did here is grant item we're receiving from general eight. And uh, in this conditional button here, you can see that if we interact with channel seven, which is this trigger over here, um, it will send a signal on channel eight. So if we take this gun and go onto this trigger, the condition button will send a signal to the item grinder and give me a new gun. And that is basically how you can re-roll uh, all of your items, which is amazing, I think. So let's quickly try this out. So now we take our revolver, uh, we go onto the button and we get a new gun. It is just that simple and it is amazing to do. All right, so this is the basically as easy as it can get with counting system, with a placement point system, uh, and they just made this so much easier. All right, you might ask, why is this so easy now? Because they just added a very awesome option, which is called decrement progress when receiving from. And you might think, wow, this is just counting down. But yeah, we didn't have that before. It is amazing. You now can send a signal to decrease the progress, which means you can count players properly. How this works is super simple. First of all, you go into your uh, tracker device or the score manager, depending on what type of scoring system you want. So I don't know why there's like, it should be zero, it's probably a bug. So um, if you go into your uh, score manager or the tracker, there's both the same option there, which is increment and decrement when receiving from. So you put that to a different channel, like five and six, for example, or whatever channels you have and then keep remembering them. So you want to put in these channels into your mutated zone, which you place basically over your whole zone boost map. Um, so the trackers can properly track if a player is still in that zone or still on that map. That also counts for dying or just leaving the game. So you have to put then channels on on player entering and on player leaving. So obviously on player entering is just like people spawn in that area and on player leaving is then obviously a player dying or just rage quitting or whatever. So these will send signals sent to these devices and then count the, the players properly. So in the um, tracker there's a little trick to it because obviously you have to put in remaining players. Um, so you put that show progress remaining and then you have to kind of switch them. So instead of having uh, them leave on five you have to do uh, six for uh, staying inside of them and uh, leaving has to be uh, then channel five. That is obviously just turned around because obviously it's remaining and not tracking up, if that makes sense for you. So let's quickly check if this actually works. And you can see the zone right here, I just left it on just for the reason to see it easier in the video. Um, and you can see that this is our zone wars area right here. So I enter now and it's still 16 of 16 because obviously we are just entered the, the zone wars area. And if I leave the area, you can see that it goes down if I go back in here, it goes back up, and if I die, it does the same thing, so... Oh... Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so you can see that I die and it still goes down, um, which is amazing. So that's exactly what we wanted, and you can see, like, basically, now we have 15 or 16 players. And it is basically the first step of creating a full-on placement system. And it is so much easier now with the, this new decrement thing. Um, which makes like the whole point system and the scoring system so much easier. Obviously, this is not a full placement system. You don't get any points now, um, but you get the point of it. And that is basically all I have for you today. It is amazing how much stuff you can now do simpler or easier with these new few things that they just got added. Also now, as you guys know, we now have 150 channels, which is amazing. So we have so much potential to create some new stuff. And um, yeah, definitely let me know if you want to see this like full on new placement system with the with the uh, new systems that we have. And uh, also don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys back in my next video. Bye.